This is the next job, and I'm sure a lot of you recognize this place. So this is the uh, big mile-long easement here that I always mow. Swinging into a bunch of brush, but uh, yeah, the sun's probably blinding you that way. But yeah, we're back down here. We're gonna do a little cleanup. So I had a lot of uh, erosion and flood damage from. Oh man, I did have to be sometime over the summer, but. We got like one six inch rain in like 45 minutes. And then a couple weeks later, we had like a four inch rain in an hour. And as you can tell, this road right here used to be above that concrete. That's how they got in there. And then that was my video, like my last video before I got COVID a year ago. So right here towards the, I guess it was actually the beginning of December when I was here, but I did that driveway and then I piled up all that rock inside that lagoon. And then that's where I left it, and then the floods came, and you can see every bit of the rock that I put in there is gone. And then when we get over here, uh, I've actually got that exposed, I think it's either an 18 or 24 inch ductile iron intake line that goes two and a half miles into town. And you can vaguely make out a ditch over there, and that was all flat the first time I mowed here. So when this water came through here, it washed out, that whole driveway and area and you can tell it washed all that rock and stuff there and then it almost got undermined that concrete but uh dad's on its way with a load of three inch base i'm gonna put that back in here and put some smaller stuff in there just so we don't tear the tires up on our dump truck and then some of that clean rock i've got that three inch clean rock i got at the shop we're gonna dump in on top of that ductile and then i'm actually gonna use those piles up top to put over there and then all the stuff we just dug out of the sewer uh you know in the alleyway that clay and junk we're just gonna bring it down here and start trying to fill that whole ravine back in and kind of get this thing reshaped and i may clean up a little bit of the big uh riprap that's down in that ditch so it really i mean they want it fixed in case they need to drive their pickups back here to look at some of the stuff but it hasn't been like a pressing deal but it's supposed to get real cold over the weekend and part of next week, so I just feel bad, which I don't think an 18-inch ductile line is actually going to freeze, but uh, you never know. It can stay cold for quite a while, and then we can just get it covered up and insulated a little bit. That will help out with that. Break some of this back down here and use it for filler like i said i think we're just going to put three inch base rock with everything so our base rock is limestone aggregate it's uh it's like a three i think they call it like three inch minus so i mean it's mostly three inch stones with the fines in there all the way down to like three quarter or one inch base rock so it's a little bit bigger rock it'll kind of fill these voids in but i need to make this where it's smooth enough they can drive pickups and stuff in here and I don't want to I mean rip wrap would hold up the best but I also don't want to tear up the tires on my dump truck or dad's dump truck so we'll dress this section back up and I can just kind of use some of this as some of the filler I'm not really worried about uh, compaction and all that this is kind of one of those jobs or deals it's like I'm not trying to do like a half job or anything like that but it floods every year i mean it, this is going to happen again i mean they do pay me to come down here and kind of keep it up and stuff but there's no real way to ever make it stop i mean like the whole south end of town drains into this area so it'll look like white water rapids uh, whenever it comes out of this little creek bank over here So instead of coming in here and spending lots of money and doing all kinds of concrete and stuff like that to make it, because there was another concrete pad at one time right here where I was at, and it's gone. So, I mean, it's uh, job security for me, but it's about as easy just to pay me a little bit of money throughout the year to come down here and do a little touching up. Sometimes we'll just you know springtime if it need to get a big flood i may come back up here and dress it up a little bit and then in the fall we'll kind of do another big restoration so got this down here because uh obviously my loader's in the shop and 
and running over this stuff was going to be a little much for Dad's uh, TLA. And I hated to bring it down here. We may have it down here later at some point to finesse some of this stuff, but I haven't ran the old 2150 in quite a while, so it's nice to get it out. may not be a real exciting job. I mean, nothing I'm doing down here is like what I would consider like finish work, I guess. It's just, we'll call it like a rough finish. We're basically just gonna move rocks and stuff around and get it somewhat usable. And uh, yeah, kinda go from there.
work on I think I'm gonna use some of this creek rock that washed up and get our ductile line covered back up. I don't know, this may be the 20 inch. It's kind of hard to tell. There's so many pi there's four 36 inch lines or 30 inch lines in here and a couple of 20s, 18s. I'm gonna get that covered up and then I think this one's a sewer main line right here it's all concrete so we'll get that covered up but uh yeah i don't know it's probably my first mowing video down here this wasn't here this was all the the same height right there you can kind of see what it used to look like so uh i'm gonna get these pipes kind of bedded in with this creek rock and then it, it won't be today but this is probably where we're going to start hauling in some of that clay and stuff and trying to Kind of dump it in there and track it in and see if we can't get that to hold as best as we can if nothing else this place is going to help us get rid of some fill uh over at the shop I don't, we're not 100 percent sure but me and dad have been talking we may finally build the shop on that lot where we've been dumping some stuff across the street so we got a guy uh, a friend of mine has got the building next to ours that redoes pallets he's running out of room and he's interested in buying the building that we're in now so we've kind of been looking around I mean, my overall long-term goal is always trying to find, I don't know, three or five acres, build a house, and maybe build a shop where I can keep everything. But it may be about as easy just to stay living where we're at and uh, build us a little shop to put everything. And nothing, it won't be anything crazy because it's going to be in town. We're looking maybe like 40 by 60 or 60 by 80, something like that, where we can uh we won't get this machine inside but the other small ones and then build like a big lean to for this and the two dump trucks and just try to get a little more organized so we need to get a lot of the junk off that lot uh cleaned up so we can do that and we've got some pretty decent packing fill material and clay that i think will work pretty good in here seeing how it may not last so <laughs> but we'll uh while he's gone i'm gonna try like i said just skim up some of this creek rocks gonna be about as best I can come up with to uh, pad these lines in and then we'll start raking some more of this stuff around. 